The Grand Rapids Public Museum is featuring summer exhibits that range from dinosaurs to history and even fashion. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Our News 8 digital anchor, Luke Laster, here from the Wood TV Live Desk. Joining me today is Kate Kosensky with the GRPN with more on these exhibits. Kate, good morning. Hi, good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So um, we want to highlight these three exhibits that were brought to our attention. Let's start with Fashion Plus Nature. That's the museum's uh, newest original exhibit, to my understanding. Tell me about it. Yeah, absolutely. So the museum routinely brings in traveling exhibits, and we also build our own. So this is one of our latest original exhibits, completely designed and built by the team here at the Grand Rapids Public Museum, along with community partners that helped advise us on a variety of different things that went into this exhibit. But this exhibit explores the um, relationship between fashion and the natural world. So inspiration that comes from nature in the fashion industry, and then also you know, maybe some of the darker sides of the fashion industry, you think fast fashion that might be harmful to the environment. And then also maybe how things are being built out of fashion is being created out of natural elements um, that are sustainable. And um, really the, the the, the ending of this exhibit is to um, teach our visitors how to become better consumers, highlight local, what's happening in local fashion, all while learning here at the Grand Rapids Public Museum. So it's it's incredibly a hands-on exhibit. It features a variety of our natural history specimens from our collection and our fashion collection, which is very robust. So the 180 off of that one from fashion to dinosaurs. Now, um, there's Petrosaurus, Flight in the Age of Dinosaurs. Um, that one now, again, to our understanding, only available until September 4th. How's that? Yeah, work? that's correct. So that exhibit, it's a coming up on our last chance. You've got about oh, a month and a half here now to, to see that exhibit. Um, Pterosaurs, Flight in the Age of Dinosaurs. This is all about reptiles. So they technically were not dinosaurs, but they were around during the same exact time period as the dinosaurs. So these were um, the first backboned animals to evolve the power of flight and the only vertebrates to do that aside from birds and bats. And so come in to see, to see these. Um, amazing creatures. We have casts of fossils. We have um, replicas on display, as well as some interactives. One of my favorite interactives in the exhibit is the flight simulator, where you can stand in front of a uh, simulation machine and try to catch a uh, fish like a pterosaur. Um, and some of these animals were a small to fit in the palm of your hand and some were as big as a two-seater plane. So it's pretty incredible to experience this. And as with many of the exhibits here at the Grand Rapids Public Museum, highly interactive, hands-on engaging for all learning styles. Um, and so you can come and see these two exhibits as part of our general admission um, ticket to get in. And then hitting on history, obviously many exhibits there reflecting on history of Grand Rapids, Grand River, especially the 1928 Spillman Carousel. Tell me yeah, about that. Yeah, absolutely. So the museum recently went through a restoration of this iconic artifact that's part of our collections. It's our 1928 Spillman Carousel reopened at the end of May um, and the renovation efforts are still going on. So over the next couple of years, we'll continue to restore the animals that are part of the carousel. Um, but the carousel itself has been restored and, and some of the animals that are on it um, at this point. So come down, check that out. It is included as part of our general admission ticket as well. Um, New features with that, we've upgraded several accessibility and safety features along with the mechanics and the aesthetics of the carousel itself. So um, it's back up, it's running, we have rides every 20 minutes, and we do ask that you reserve your rides in advance. If you're purchasing your tickets to the museum in advance, you can do that right online, or when you come in at our front desk, you're welcome to, um, to add the carousel ride on as part of your museum experience. Um, and it's open um, seven days a week along with the museum. So we mentioned the reptile or dinosaur exhibit um, there. September 4th is its last day. What about the other two exhibits? Are those ones sticking around? Are they only available through the summer, the fall? Tell me about those. Absolutely. So Fashion and Nature will be here for a good long time, at least through the end of this calendar year and into, into 2023. And then the Spillman Carousel is part of our core exhibition lineup. Um, so that will be open um, at this point, you know, for the foreseeable future uh, moving forward as we work through those renovations. There might be some times, and you can check our website, when we might have to temporarily uh, work on it from a maintenance standpoint, just because it is a working artifact. So if you're ever curious, 
and you're visiting the museum, just, just check on our website and we'll put those, those time slots up when it might be down. Um, and I did mention, you know, these, these exhibits are part of our general admission ticket to the museum. So the museum uh, reworked our pricing a little bit uh, earlier in, um, in the year. And now all of our special exhibits are included with a ticket to the museum. So that means no additional fee to get into exhibits like pterosaurs or like fashion and nature. The only additional ticket is our planetarium, um, which is also open uh, throughout the summer with amazing shows and learn a little bit more about space um, as part of your shows as well. You know, as I mentioned earlier in our stream here, these three exhibits covering a range of topics for those who attend the museum. Why include these and why include, you know, the ones that you do have there? Oh, sure. It's all about accessibility. So um, from the inclusion standpoint for our, our ticketing, you know, we want to make it as easy as possible for the community to come in and enjoy and learn from these exhibits. Um, that's what we're here for, and that's what our mission is. And um, in terms of the types of exhibits that we bring in, you know, we want to bring in exhibits that really fit into our mission and vision and our core of being a history, science, and cultural organization. So look for traveling exhibits and even even exhibits that we build ourselves that really fit into those those three buckets um, and also have learning elements and are engaging and accessible to the broadest population that they can be um, so that we're serving our community the best that we can. So here we are, you know, second full week of July, the clock is ticking on the summer months. What can we expect as we head into the fall or even, you know, beginning of winter? Yeah, absolutely. So um, before we, we wish away summer too soon, I do want to mention we also have a very robust Camp Curious summer camp program going on. Um, that started in June, but there are still camps available if anyone wants to sign a family member up um, between now and mid-August. We have day camps and we have multi-day camps that are half day um, going on. And you can check those out at grpm.org slash edu classes. Um, and then we are planning for a couple of new exhibits coming up in the fall. Um, one that I'll mention just because we will be announcing it later this week. Um, so you all that are watching will get a little bit of a sneak peek. We uh, will be bringing in an exhibit starting on September 3rd called Celebration of Souls, Day of the Dead in Southern Mexico. And we're excited to bring this one in. This is a traveling exhibit from the Field Museum, and we will be partnering with local partners to include Ofrendas as part of that um, exhibition experience uh, here at the Grand Rapids Public Museum. And then stay tuned. Um, about another month, month and a half or so, we will announce what will be coming after Pterosaurs. Kate, is there anything else that you would like to add? Yeah, you know, ju I just want to highlight that um, it's really affordable to come to the museum. Um, if you live in Kent County, Kent County kids age 17 and under get free admission into the museum as part of our mill millage benefits to the community. And those include discounted admission for adults and seniors as well. Um, and then additionally, the museum also participates in Museums for All, which is significantly discounted admission to anyone um, that is an EBT cardholder. Um, so you can check our website for details on all of that. We do still recommend advanced ticketing just to get you in the museum faster, especially if you plan to visit on one of our busier days, um, especially throughout the summer. Um, but we're excited to welcome the community down. Come check out Terrace check out Fashion Nature this summer, take a ride on the Spillman Carousel. It's been closed for a couple of years, so we're happy to have that reopened. And then keep an eye out for what's coming up this fall. We have some exciting stuff coming down the line. Ladies and gentlemen, if you tuned in maybe halfway through this stream or just now clicking in, there's a link attached if you're viewing on Facebook here. It takes you over to wittv.com here to view our full conversation right there. Again, Kate, thank you. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, this has been a look at the Wood TV Live Desk. I'm News 8 Digital Anchor, Luke Laster. Have a great morning, a great afternoon, and we'll see you around.